Hey guys, I'm here to show you a cool application called Overflow. You can see it here in my dock. So um, essentially what it is, it's kind of like another dock, um, but it kind of just houses applications that you don't feel like putting on your dock. So here we'll open it up here. And here you can place any application that you want, file, website, you know, all that stuff, uh, bookmarks of websites. So here we have, I put Boxy, Crossover, App Cleaner, CyberDuck, Hyperspaces, Adobe Fireworks, Cram, VLC, TweetDeck, ScreenFlow, Transmission, Time Machine, TextMake, VirtualBox, and OpenOffice.org. All in my top apps, I have a website app section and a social app, so it kind of breaks stuff down. So here I'll show you, you can hit edit here, and you can drag stuff out. I'm going to keep that in there though. You can uh, open up the add menu to add any t um, any application that you want. Or you can drag in here. Either one works because normally when you are not in edit mode, when you click out, it'll close. But when you go into edit mode, you can click out so you can drag files right into here. Which is sometimes easier for uh, doing multiple but if you want to do one, you can just hit the Add button. So right-click on the section here, and you can hit Add or Remove Category. Here you can adjust the size of that. As well as here you can adjust the size and number of bars that you get. I like to stick with the small view. So you can either click out or hit the X button. Uh, and then there's also, you can set it to, if you turn off the menu down here, I'll show you. We'll go to Preferences. Um, here we have Show Overflow dot Icon in Dock, and when you uncheck this and relaunch Overflow, you can see that there's no longer the Dock icon open. And it is now up here that you can access all your menus from, which is cool. As well as open the overflow window. Preferences, everything there in a smaller, less, um, I guess, less flashy and all that. But I prefer the icon in the, my dock because it makes it kind of easy and cool interface, you know, it's got the reflection of the icons, it's very well done for a, let's see, you know, it only uses 4.8% of my CPU right now, so that's really good for an application like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and restart this, get it back in my menu. I also have it set on startup, and, you know, you can change colors if you wanted to, we'll go ahead and change some colors for the purpose of this video. Like we could go and we could make that that color. And we can make it really transparent. Which I actually like that. Maybe I'd do a darker transparency, but I think I'm gonna use that from now on instead of the dark. Eh, I don't know. It depends. So anyway, I hope you like this application. Um you can download it. Uh, on the internet. I will provide the link in the sidebar, which is right here. You can try it here, um, or you can buy the full version here. Um, it's a great app. I highly recommend it. It's um, You can set keyboard shortcuts to everything. Um, it's a great application. You know, it's stunt soft by stunt software. They make a bunch of cool apps. They're sometimes overpriced, but you know, you can get free versions of them, so it's all good. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this video, and check out my other videos. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.